How can I learn martial arts by myself? There are many styles that are not taught in all areas of the world. It's okay. You cannot effectively train in an art or style without physical instruction in that art or style and practitioners of that style to train with. You could imitate the moves you see in videos or read about the theory, but your understanding would be vastly limited, and in the end, all you would be doing is imitating. If you wish to study a style that isn't taught where you live, you have two choices, option one, move. If it is that important to you, move. Pack up everything you have, quit your job if you need to, and move for the sake of studying. Option two, ask yourself what you want to get out of studying martial arts, then, go look around where you live for the instruction that is available and study whatever is taught in your area that best fits your needs. I once had a pair of children and their mother visit my school. They had moved from another state and there was no one in our town who taught the style they had studied. Their mother was fixated on the previous instructor and his methods as the ultimate expression of martial arts. She wanted her children to continue to study, so she brought them to my school. After an hour of discussing how our school could meet her needs, she left. Three months later, I ran into her again, this time, while I was visiting a school owned by a good friend. She was bringing her children to that school to see if my friend could replace the instructor her children had before. She left again, still searching for another school. I ran into this woman and her children multiple times over the next few years. Always, she was looking for someone to teach the style her children had learned before, the way they had learned it before. Meanwhile, her children learned nothing. They studied nothing and with each passing year, forgot more of what they knew. People who seek out famous styles because of things that they have read about, people who will accept nothing other than what their research has told them will be perfect for them to study, they wind up like this woman's children. Studying nothing. Learning nothing. Worse. They are blind to the wonders they have never heard of, the thousands upon thousands of styles that are deep, rich, and fulfilling, but taught in small regions or without significant fanfare. If you want to study martial arts, worry less about the name of the art, and more about the quality of the instruction, and if that instruction will help you meet your goals. As long as it does, who cares what the brand name is? Martial arts is all about practicing techniques to perfection. Learning the basic techniques will take a minimum of 5 to 7 years and the rest all depends on your practice. The basic difference between a white belt and black, is how accurately you can perform your moves, the consistency of your performance and most importantly your physical and mental ability. This can improve only with time and practice. As for me, I was into this sport for the past 7 to 8 years and I am still far from perfection. A lot also depends on the type of martial art you choose. Here is a comprehensive list of the, the top 10 commonly known martial arts in India. Judo Kickboxing Karate Aikido Taekwondo Brazilian Jiu Jitsu Traditional Boxing Wrestling Krav Maga Muay Thai These have a lot of sub-styles as well. Karate had 10 different styles, popularly known as Ru. Ru is a Japanese word meaning school, as in a school of thought. Each Karate Ru has its own approach to the fighting arts. Similarly for others. I was into Goju Kai and it typically takes 6 to 7 years to master the basic skills. A little bit of research before joining any particular martial art would be beneficial. This should also tell you about the bare minimum time required to master the basic skills and the benefit of that form over others. Goju Kai Karate is mostly known for Kata Sanchen. You can check out for others as well. Please like video and susbscribe my channel.